what's going on YouTube um, I just uh, w wanted to uh, make make a quick video or uh, of some uh, books I picked up um, I went to my flea market yesterday uh, and I also picked up some books at my uh, local comic book store on the last day they had their 50% off sale um, and I got a few in the mail too so I'm gonna start off with just some of the ones I picked up for my own reading um, they're not really worth anything but I got She Side Blade number one. I got that cover and also the other variant cover. Now this is the second part of the Battle for Independence, which is the um, the first appearance of Witchblade, I believe. So um, got this one. It's a fan appreciation virgin cover number one. Um, I also got real quick number two to six so no big deal they were all buck a piece so just picked them up because I want to read them this is virgin cover number one of she Shen Ruku or whatever it is that's number one no big deal another dollar and I picked up Shy, uh, Shy Blade She, Battle for Independence, uh, number one. I get this is supposed to be the first appearance of Witchblade. This is the uh, regular cover, and I got two of the, the variant cover. So they were all a dollar. So I just pick them up. Maybe someday they'll be worth something. I picked up these three books. No big deal. Uh, number one two different covers and the second one is Spear to Tell. I like the covers. I figured I'd try to read them. i will read them maybe. And these are from my flea market. Quasar number one. Um, I didn't pay two dollars for it. I paid um, it says two dollars on there but I didn't pay that much on it. And I don't know where he gets the near mint at because I ain't no near mint. Um, I got a whole stack of books from this one guy. He gave them to me for like ten bucks, so maybe a dollar I paid for it. And this is also another book I got from him, Daredevil 197. Uh, it's the first Eureka. Eureka. Um, he had it listed at five bucks, but I got it. Like I said, I got the whole stack for like 10 bucks. I don't know how much I paid out. I'm not sure how many books I got, but that's cool. Um, I also picked up the same guy. 270. It's the first Black Heart. heart. So. And from a different guy there. I got this one. From, for a dollar. Uh, but flea market for a dollar. Another Black Heart. And from my local comic book store today, out of the dollar bin, another one. We got three of them now. And I got the number one in Nightcrawler for a dollar. And I got my, from my comic book store today, I got this for a dollar. X Factor 1. Whoever bought it originally paid $10 for it. I only paid a dollar. So, I got these for a buck also. Um, this one here. Uh, first Tim Drake is Robin. Um, it's not, it's faded, but for a dollar. And I also picked up this one too for a dollar. No, I didn't pay. It says two dollars, but I got it for a dollar. So, it's in better condition. I already have it once. My local comic book store has it for like ten, twelve dollars on the wall. That's crazy. I pick up uh, a bunch of Batman for a dollar. It's a Joker covers. So I got that one. And I got that one. And I got this one. This is a Scott a J. Scott Campbell cover. And I got this one for free. Joker uh, Showcase 94, number one. Um, Bought a bunch of books from this one guy. He had some kind of deal. Like if you spent like so much money or something, he gave you a free one. So I got that. Um, got this for $1.50. Actually, no. 
Uh, this is the stack I got for $10. So this is DC Comp Presents number two. And I also got this one from a different guy. Gave me 40% off. I got it for, he had a list for 15. I got it for nine. Um, DC Comp Presents number one. I think I saw this in, I don't know, is it Lightnings or Hero Hunters? Uh, Lightning 2288 or Hero Hunters. Uh, I guess he collects the races for the Flash and Superman. Um, now this is first Adrian Chase as Vigilante. Um, I got these for 50, uh, I got these from a guy who was selling them for 50 cents a piece, all his comics. I have a box of them, nothing really good in there. I got that, and I also picked up that one there too. And that one. And that one. So I got four of them for two bucks. Oh, no big deal. And I got a couple Whitman covers. I got that one. Issue 491. I got it for 49 cents. And this one's issue 151 of Brave and the Bold. They're in horrible condition, but like I said, for 49 cents a piece, not even that, I got it. And this one was in that stack of books for 10 bucks. Um, it's in terrible condition, but I wanted to read it, so I got it. Okay. Got this one from the local, in that same stack, $10. Got that in there. He had a list at five bucks, but like I said, I got the whole stack for 10, uh, 10 bucks, so look at that. And I got another, oh, I got this from my local comic book store for a dollar. Another Joker cover. This was from the comic book store, another dollar. And I got this from my comic book store, 50% off. Got it for $2.50. Uh, DC Comic, I mean, Showcase Presents Hawkman 101. And I got a few comic. Let me just do these first. Got this for 50% uh, off my comic book store. Uh, annual New Teen Titans number one. It's the first Vanguard, first appearance. Um, and I also got this one. I made a mistake. I thought it was the uh, original volume one, but it's volume two. But and I found this in the box, dollar box. So. That for a dollar. It's a Whitman cover. Oh, uh, Whitman variant. Um, it's number 160, Justice League of America. So that's cool for a dollar. And I got these from, I ordered them online uh, someplace in Canada. I got one, two, and four of the mini series of Tales of the New Teen Titans. This is the origin of Cyborg. Um, the Raven and Starfire. So cool, and they're in really nice condition. But the guy shipped them without bags and boards. And I haven't gotten around to doing it. I just opened up a little bit ago, opened the packages. I got this at the flea market. Uh, the guy wanted fifteen dollars for it. I got him down three bucks. So I got it for twelve dollars, and it's not. It's it got issues. But I didn't have it, and I want to. I just figured I'd get this one until I could get a better copy, a better graded copy. It's a uh, X Men Uncanny X Men 142, second part of Days of Futures Past. Uh, so, but it got. If you look, it got some crease right there in the corner. I don't know if you can see it, and you got some more up there in the other corner. But I think there's some issue there. But for 12 bucks, I just figured I'd get it for a placeholder. Um, also at the flea market, I got this. Um, same guy I gave me 40% off of the DC Comics Presents. Number one, he gave me 40% off of this. Got it for nine bucks. Uh, Transformers number one. And also this is the first appearance of the Dinobots in Transformers number eight. I got this for, he had a list for four dollars to get to me for two bucks. So, okay. Uh, I think that's all the flea market ones I got. I think that I went through all of them. I didn't really get much there. But, yeah, I got the rest. This here is another shipment I got on um, eBay. 
I bought um, so Joker number five, number two, and number one. And they're not bad condition. I got them, I got these three. And I picked up this one, the variant cover for Batman number 26. I got them all for, I think it was $35. So maybe I overpaid a little bit more than I wanted to, but it's not bad. That one's some good. That's, that's no bad. I just wanted that for us. But it's a really good condition, I think. You know, I don't know if I can say it. Not in Mylar yet. For my lights. It's in good condition. Not bad. And I picked these up in my comic book store. 50% off. I didn't have them. I got Aquaman number 39. No big deal. Number I got it for six bucks. This one's also six bucks. Aquaman number 34. And he had another one too, but it was in it had a missing a chunk out of the cover. Oh, oh my gosh, I just realized this one has writing on the cover big 27 oh well like i said only six bucks oh well i didn't see that before um and i got these i just ordered these last week and i just got them today in the mail and guys shipped them it came in my light twos and fullbacks too so really good but he gave me a free one also so i got this aquaman 29 first ocean master um I paid $30 for it and or $31 something like that can too and he gave me this one for free um, it's the lenticular cover ocean master number one of uh, Aquaman 23.2 um, I already have it but it's cool to get it for free and I got this one this is from my uh, my local comic book store and that new new uh, uh, collection they bought they had this book, and they had it in like maybe a very good or a fine minus or some not too much better than that. It wasn't in that great condition. And they wanted forty five dollars for it, and I told the guy I can get it a lot cheaper online. The guy wouldn't budge on the price, so I went online just to spite him, and I bought it. I got this one for thirty five dollars from the same guy who sold me these. Um, Avengers number seven annual Avengers uh, king size annual. I'm missing this one. I'm missing three other ones in the whole in all the annual set uh, But this was one I'm missing um, and it's in Really nice condition and I got it for 35 bucks And like I said, it already came in my light, so I didn't have to even rebag it or nothing But yeah, look at those corners It's the death of the warlock so Thanos on the cover too, you know, so I know that they, they, these are going up in price or uh, they have been going up in price. So uh, I picked it up um, And I think that's it. Uh, that's, that's all I got so far. So uh, um, I, Next video. Oh, I'm waiting on I, I made some big purchases this past weekend uh, I put a hitting on my uh, a beating on my uh, credit card this weekend. So I just uh I saw some good deals and I had to pick them up uh, and I'm waiting for them in the mail so as soon as I get them I can't wait to show you these um, um, uh, I hope they come quickly so uh, and I'm still gonna make uh, a video showing some of my action figure collection and stuff uh, it, that one's a little bit more of a hassle I think cause I got a lot of my um, stuff ba uh, boxed up in the garage because I don't have a lot of space to display my action figures so I'm gonna do that soon hopefully um, but I just want to, uh, like, like I said, I want to uh, thank everyone for watching my videos. And there's a lot of people up, you know, that, that, uh, there's been some people that have been subscribing to me. I want to thank them and who've been leaving nice comments on my uh, videos. Uh, I really appreciate it. And, uh, you know, thanks very much. And I'll see you later. Thanks.